question. Hey family, now I'm going to ask you a question. Are witches dateable? Psychic mediums, whatever you want to call us. Are we dateable? The reason why I'm asking this question is because Mama actually was date, uh, debating on going on a date. I was actually debating it. So, I won't tell you how I met this person, but anyway, because it's no big deal how I met him. And uh, guess what? You know, we decided we were, we were going to hook up. But guess what? We were having trouble. We were definitely having some trouble. At least he was. Because I cannot turn the filter off. Me being a medium, me being psychic, it, it's really hard to turn the filter off. What I mean about this is, um, you know, I, I'm just very sensitive to emotions and stuff, and I'm intuitive, and um, so I'm I'm on, I'm on the phone with this person. And uh, we kind of noticed we had some things in common and stuff. And it's really difficult for me to be able to actually date someone. And that's because it's hard to reveal exactly who I am and what I do. It's really hard. I mean, it, you know, here in the Bible Belt, I am limited. I mean, everybody can look at me and tell that I'm different. Everybody can tell that something is a little bit odd, <laughs> so to speak, because I'm not exactly like most people. Um, um, they are aware I'm an eccentric, as you all can see. So that's why I asked the question. Are witches dateable? Um, I don't know where you are, but I know, like, where, where I am, I cannot just, like, you know, just say, hey, you know, I, by the way, I wanted to let you know that I'm, I'm a witch. You know, I can't do that. So, how do you date and be honest with people? You know, do you just allow them to kind of, like, figure it out over time, or... Do you just be honest? I mean, I'm talking about the Bible Belt. I'm not necessarily talking about people who live in Salem, Massachusetts, because it's cool to be a witch there or any any other places. Because I'm not really sure how it is for most witches who are going on dates in other locations. Okay, I only know here. You know, most people go to church. They go to church. They're Christians. They're Catholics. I mean, and their religion is like number one. So, hmm, where does that leave the witches here in the South? So, and, I, and I'm true to my, I'm just going to be true to myself. I, I love myself. And like I say, you know, witchcraft saved my life. Um, and I'm going to always just put it first, just like others put religion first, you know. Because I'm sure it saved their lives or they would not be practicing it. But I feel the same devotion for witchcraft. So, Mama, oh gosh, I met some cool people. These are people that I know. One cool person in particular. Um, but since I have been, been out there, I have met someone in particular. And um, that's why I'm asking this question, you know. And which is fine dates? What do you all think? Let me give you some ideas of some of the things I've been facing. So, me and the person, we're on the phone, we're feeling each other. And I have a very, when I really like somebody, I have this connection with them. And I could, you know, just feel their emotions, see where they are. And feel where they are and I can even see what they ate for dinner, for lunch, for breakfast. And um but I do put a filter on myself. I put a filter on my mouth. Um I don't think it's fair to just really call things out, but then at the same time too it does affect the conversation. 
by me being a medium, because I'm just not a witch now. I'm a medium. And mediums and witches are two different things. I just happen to have that ability. Well, while I'm on the phone with this person, uh, some of the spirits will come through to me, and I cannot help it. And they're like talking to me about some things that happened to him in the past, and they'll move through to me, and I'm talking to this person, and all of a sudden, I'm this person's deceased auntie. And they're like, you know, wait a minute now, you, you know, wait, wait, what's going on here? In particular, and when I was talking to this person, you know, he's he, he's been divorced, so he has an ex-wife. And he told me, he said, look, you know what, he kind of got kind of like a little bit uptight. He said, um, you sound like my ex-wife. What's going on here? Are you are you trying to mess with my mind? What what is going on? And all of a sudden, it, has, it escalated a little bit more, and got very upset. And he was like, you know, you were always like this in the past, and you always thought you knew more than me. And he just went on and on and on and on. And I had to just let this guy know. Wait a minute, I am spiritual. I'm not your ex-wife. So, and it's like, well, that was crazy. And he said. For a minute there, I thought I was going psycho. So, I had to let him know, y'all. I had to let him know that I was a medium. He had no clue what a medium was. Now, I'm getting kind of a little bit discouraged here because I'm like, you know, it'd be nice to find someone like myself who knows exactly what, you know, a witch is and know the true meaning of what a witch is, who knows what a medium is, who have no problem with psychics. It would be nice to find somebody that I could jail with and I'm not finding it. So I'm like hopelessly wondering, you know, what am I going to do? You know, because it affects so much. Even my relationship with just people in general, I have a tendency to just be myself feel like myself and then we're on the phone we're talking or we're in person and they just swear my face may have changed and i don't look the same anymore or i'm talking like some deceased relative so that's my question family let's just dig on in there let's share our feelings and stuff we can talk about it and discuss it on facebook if you'd like you are free to have the timeline to discuss you know, your feelings on it. I'm sure there are other witches out there who may have gone through the dilemma, you know, other mediums, psychics, warlocks, priests, priestesses, you know, we, uh, are we really, especially once you get up here at my age, are we really allowed to, to date? Are we really allowed? Do the spirits really feel comfortable with us dating, you know? It's something to think about, because I think about the different uh, witch doctors and stuff in Africa. Most of them are really men and everything. They get a chance to have so many wives and stuff, but in the culture, it's acceptable to be a witch doctor. But here in the society we are in, you know, most of them take to that. So my question once again is, are we witches going to be lonely? Do we, are we to stay by ourselves? I mean, share with me. Please comment. And guess what? I'm going to come back and do some more videos because I have something I need to share with you all. Pardon my sinuses. As you all know, I'm stopped up. Plenty of airplanes flying out through the night and spraying their poisons on us. They're humicides so to speak. I'll be back in a minute, okay?